Darren, our FA Cup campaign starts tomorrow. Looking forward to it? Yeah, really excited. Really excited. Obviously a nice local derby for the fans as well. Should be a packed house there. Me and Junior got one or two friends there as well, so um can be a difficult game, mind, but one we're looking forward to, yeah. So looking at them as a team, they seem to have hit form at the right time coming into this. What are you sort of expecting from them? I anticipate certainly seven, eight of them, if not all of them, playing well above their capabilities. That's what the FA Cup does when you're when you're the underdog and you're the you're the team in the lower levels. You raise your game, so I anticipate most of them playing way beyond their uh, abilities uh, because they want a point to prove. They're up against a team that's two leagues above them and they want to prove to everyone that they should be here and some of our players should be elsewhere. So it's the same when when we approached the the games last year against Brentford and Sheffield United. So I anticipate them being full steam ahead from the first whistle. So we have to match that um, and bring a strong team and, a, and an, our A game to the table otherwise um, the FA Cup has a habit of causing upsets You mentioned our team is this a chance for you to maybe rotate your squad and give those a chance that maybe haven't had as much, many minutes as some others and give them a chance to impress um, I may look at one or two positions but I'm not going to make too many changes because whether it's league or cup we're still searching for consistency um, What's pleasing now is I've got one or two back. Um, Riyadz is back and I've got Jack Taylor back. Um, now, although we quite possibly could have won the two games that he was away, I would definitely say that we've missed him. He's been in good form this season, so it's pleasing to have Jack back. And I've had Dunny, Andre Bucard and Elliot Johnson training this week as well. So there's a decision to be made there with them three. I do think it might be a week too soon for Dunny, but certainly with the other two, they're up for consideration. But no, we're going there strong because I want to approach the game looking for our qualities and our consistency to be improved on. And obviously, don't want to take the competition lightly anyway because we had such a good time in it last year. I want to repeat it. How much confidence does that give not only yourself, but the team knowing that? We're slowly getting players like James Dunn back around the squad and Andre Bucard, those experienced players that can really help the others. I think the way I've been looking at it over over this early part of the season, which probably contributes, in my opinion, to consistency, is if you've got all your if you've got all your sort of senior or experienced players, if you like, that you can almost say are going to give you seven, eight of them giving you seven, eight out of ten week in, week out, then we ain't going to go far wrong because we've got good players. But what we've had on maybe too many occasions is only five, maybe six players that you kind of know what you're getting. Um, so that the more of your consistent performers and the more of your experienced performers that are playing regular, I think that will just contribute to us showing a better level of consistency.